What's up YouTube Revolution, Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. Just before we jump into this The Walking Dead topic video, consider subscribing to my channel for more The Walking Dead content. And also if you're a gamer and like some video game content, consider subscribing also and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Alright, so I've seen a lot of people who have said they lost hope in the Walking Dead movie trilogy even happening, and I gotta say, it may just be a little early for them to say much about the movies because I think the Walking Dead World Beyond still needs to wrap up its story first, since maybe if we get anything on the first movie, it could potentially spoil stuff in the second and final season of the Walking Dead World Beyond. My prediction is we need to witness more things about the CRM and wrap up that story first and learn more about why the CRM are villains and what the CRM's intentions are if they are looking for a cure or if they are a big fat lie in trying to weaponize the walkers and make them stronger and more dangerous. Also, with Fear the Walking Dead Season 7, there looks like there is going to be a bit of CRM story related stuff, but not as much as World Beyond Season 2. The CRM in Fear the Walking Dead Season 7 looks like they will be trying to investigate in the nuclear wasteland, maybe doing experiments or gathering nuclear waste or something. They are obviously there for something, and like I said, what if their intentions are not to find a cure and just weaponize the walkers? Now I understand that The Walking Dead comic book creator Robert Kirkman has even said before he isn't interested in a cure storyline and also since the comics have now ended and now the TV universe is now going in a new original directions, things could change either a cure or a brand new apocalypse could emerge on an already bad apocalypse. For all we know, the CRM could be like Resident Evil's umbrella corporation of the Walking Dead's universe. We honestly still don't even know how or where the Walker virus even came from. You never know, the CRM could have had something to do with the origins of the virus and if that's the case, then the CRM's motto saying that they are the last light of the world means that they are a big huge lie like I said. Also, maybe we need to just get a bit through Season 11 of The Walking Dead's Commonwealth storyline to maybe plant seeds and hints at a possible war in the future during the movie trilogy. I got a prediction that the Commonwealth seemed to be more about trying to restore the world back to normal and getting jobs again, so there will most indefinitely have to be a war between CRM and Commonwealth. And Commonwealth will try to get access to what CRM have and just maybe try to reverse engineer on whatever the CRM's experiments are and just possibly create a cure. But we still don't know if that's what the writers exactly want to do is fully cure the virus because obviously if there's a full on cure, then there's no more The Walking Dead and it seems to that they want to keep The Walking Dead's universe going. Very similar to how Marvel's universe is still going, Star Wars, Star Trek, DC, etc. But also, let's focus on Andrew Lincoln's story right now. It was said around July that he was filming a Netflix horror film in Canada, and so that was about two months ago now, since we are now currently in September. So I'm guessing they are getting close to wrapping up filming, so this movie could potentially be released by Halloween. I honestly don't know, since usually horror films like to release around Halloween. I also can't see this movie being extremely high budget like working on the um, the movie for a year and releasing the movie around Halloween 2022. I'm guessing if it doesn't release by Halloween 2021 maybe it will release in the new year around January 2022 but horror movies don't usually do well around those times but it could release in January or sometime in early 2022 if the movie isn't ready for Halloween 2021. Also, I just can't see the filming process for this movie to take a long time since it's a Netflix film and not a theatrical release. And especially since it's not a Netflix series, my guess is at most, the movie could be an hour and a half long at the shortest. So back to the scheduling for the first The Walking Dead movie. Like I said, maybe they are waiting for World Beyond to finish or get partway through the second and final season just probably gives Andrew Lincoln enough time to wrap up on this Netflix film. 
I'm sure Scott Gimble, Chief Executive Officer of the Walking Dead's universe, has this sorted out and has it planned in his mind and keeping it a secret from us fans. I'm also guessing that Scott Gimple spoke with Andrew Lincoln about this and told Andrew Lincoln about the scheduling. If I'm right about if they want to wait till World Beyond is finished or part way through to progress the CRM storyline and Andrew Lincoln has all this time on his hands, he probably decided since The Walking Dead is horror, I'll try out another horror movie so I can get back into horror mode since it's been three years since I have filmed The Walking Dead back in 2018. Also, maybe when we are part way through on World Beyond or finished it, and we know more about what the CRM's intentions are in this apocalypse, my prediction is Chris Hardwick may host a big Talking Dead special with Scott Gimple and maybe possibly if Andrew Lincoln is free to be on this Talking Dead, we may just get a huge reveal about the information that the first movie is being greenlit or filming really really soon or perhaps maybe start a little bit of filming like getting started up just before this big reveal on Talking Dead. But that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this The Walking Dead content, just remember to subscribe and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. Rallar!